I'm Mark Baer. You're watching Your Town Television program. I'm with Greg Hawthorne. This is the third segment of our program, and we're going to talk this time about the artist and the community and what art brings to a community. So over, over the years, you've been associated with um, uh, Big Sur, and, and you know that community well. Right. And you certainly have uh, brought a lot to that community, but you've also now uh, also have, uh, are located in Sand City. And Sand City is a whole nother opportunity and a whole nother wonderful place that well, has well, potential. Yeah, well, Sand City is much more the <coughs> urban context. You know, it's, it's great in Big Sur because uh, we have all the natural beauty right yeah. around us, and yeah. it's a kind of a, um, I'd, I'd say more, um, it's, just, it's just earthy. It's kind of a little bit more uh, down to earth. It's, uh, you know, uh, you're, you're happy, you're, it's exciting, it's beautiful. Where you come into Sand City is more of the urban setting where things are hustling, bustling, especially during the week where everybody's coming into Costco or they're going into their different shops and, and so forth. And everybody's moving, there's uh, warehouses going on full tilt. And it's, it's a totally different feel. So I, I kind of like both, you know, when I leave Big Sur, I want to go to San Francisco or to New York or, you know, some of the, one of the big cities. We don't really enjoy, I don't, you know, everybody wants to go to a desert island. Well, yeah. uh, for me, is not the thing I want to do. I, you know, I did just get back from Australia where we were diving in the uh, Great Barrier Reef, but that was exciting because we went out there to do a specific thing. But just laying on the beach and getting a tan and running, you know, is not my thing. And, uh, or being on a cruise with a zillion people is not my idea. But to go into the city and just, uh, I go from the big redwoods to the big buildings, I love that, that difference in character and everything else. But Sand City is the closest thing to an urban environment that we have in this area. Mm -hmm. And so um, I did, I bought some property there and decided we built um, uh, our, our buildings right now, which are, Jerry Lomax was the architect, and we were actually the first live workspace to be an architectural digest ever. And so, I mean, the buildings are quite spectacular with 30-foot ceilings. And, uh, and so I have my loft space up there, and then I have down below is my warehouse. And then the other one block over, we bought property, and we have our fabrication building where we're fabricating steel and stainless steel and different things. And that's run by my son right now, and uh, my daughter has her studio upstairs which is their, what does their glass work and the, between the two of them. And we're planning on putting an addition onto that building and then uh, re, revamping the whole building. So it, I've designed a graphic that's gonna go outside the building and then on the side of the building. So uh, it should be quite unique when it's all finished with uh, really cool windows and everything when, when we're all done. So, I mean, I'm always working on some kind of future thing. I want, and, uh, you know, for the kids, they're excited because they're it's going to expand their space and then work on some different things. So uh, we're all working together to make this an uh, interesting program. So for an artist, uh, as as a young artist, it's always important to <coughs> not be parochial. I feel I feel at some point when you're young. You've got to go to the city. You've got to go to New York. You've got to go to San Francisco. You've got you've got to learn what the bar is. You've got to learn what the expectations are. Right. You've got to learn uh, the, what the competition is, what the fight is, um, and and all those things. And also, you have to be in proximity to artists to to show your stuff, to learn how to take criticism, to well, develop one of the most an eye. Yeah, I, I agree. One of the most important things is though. You can't get caught up in the, you know, when you go to the city, a lot of times young artists and, and people, you get caught up in the, the flash, the, the, all the different kinds of things that are happening and, you know, True. and also sitting around and, and just talking about art and everything else. It's not about talking about it. It's about doing it and then talking about it and then doing more and then talking about it. That's what the sequence is. It's not just talking about it and then then in, you know, then getting up the next day and talking about more. You you need to actually do it. And well, those those kind of th that kind of uh, the the urban thing, kind of 
Well, it, it, it's, it, it quickly spits out the people who aren't doing it. Uh, right. But, right, it does. But, but, but the idea of, of going through the forge of that, uh, that's very important for artists to communicate with artists, to show their work, to do their work, to learn what the bar is. Right. And it, it's important to have an area of, um, of a city or a town where, where, where artists are. Well, all, all artists need a space to work. I mean, that's yes. kind of the, the most important thing, I guess that's thing, right? the bottom line. Oh, yeah, yes. That's the bottom line. So yes. the reason that a lot of cities, you know, Soho was developed in the first, because it was cheap rents at the early stages. Yes. I mean, they were the run-down buildings, and they could get them, uh, you know, uh, you know, areas like uh, Detroit right now. A lot of artists are going to Detroit because uh, property is inexpensive and studios are inexpensive. You need to get spots where you can get some land or some space to work, and you need it. But just going where it's a hip spot, well, that's great. Yeah. Uh, that, that's, a, that's romantic, but right. it's not but real. No, no, but I'm talking <coughs> about the, the actual work of this. Right, right. And the work of it, you, you find that location, you get to that, you build up your studio, you build up your base, you build up your vocabulary, you just keep on, on working on pieces. Then what you do is then other artists want to come to visit your studio, you want to go to visit their studio, and you're comparing notes. You know, you can get hung up on the nightlife and everything in the right. urban environment, which is not good. That's, you know, that just takes you away from your work. You know, it's the, the advantage of being in the country, which I find in Big Sur or I find in, uh, even in Sand City, you can focus on your work. You don't have to be inundated with too many things going on. And Sand City is an ideal environment for the artists right now because there's a lot of, uh, you know, the warehouse spaces and the different spaces where artists can actually work. And then they become part of the community and they find out what the other artists are doing and they go and look at their work and vice versa, they compare notes. Uh, you know, Carmel has already developed. The property is extremely expensive, you know, um, there's parts of Monterey that are a little less expensive. They're, they're living on the history of the art. Right, and exactly. and, and the here and now, yeah, so so Sand City provides that. That here and that, now. That, that it, 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 it is the her, here and now. Right. It, it's, it's, it provides the um, kind of the urban kind of feel. Right. It, it, provides, it provides a place where artists can go. Space. Uh, and as it reaches a kind of a critical mass, Stuff happens. Right. It's it, it, it's why suddenly Seattle or, or Chapel Hill or uh, Austin or or, or these Any places these, these places could, the spark happens because people are banging together right. and 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 they're, and 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 they're doing it and it brings a lot to a community and and well, it, it does and what uh, Sand City has embraced the artistic uh, view which is a. Which is really uh, sometimes difficult because cities have their own plan. You know, uh, some cities want to sell automobiles. Some cities want to, you know, uh, you know, each little community that, you know, golf at one spot and you know, uh, small shops at another spot. And um, and I'm not critical of any of this stuff. But what it is is that is that for the artist, you need uh, studio space that's reasonable to use and to at cost. And that's the most difficult. And one of the great things about Sand City is that you can do a lot of things. It's such a small city that you can actually say, well, let's have a, a, a big uh, party. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll have all the artists out and we'll do all this stuff. And I remember calling the mayor one time and say, well, we're going to have a, a party and we're going to have a, a bunch of artists over and, and everything else. And he asked me, well, am I invited? I said, of course you're invited. He says, OK, well, there's no problem. But it was a. It was, it was, it was a little. That sounds a little trite, but actually, it was so endearing to me because he is just he, uh, David Pendergrass. I'm talking about was mayor for 39 years, and when I talked to him about, well, this is kind of a great art community. He says, I, I'm an artist too, and he was. He did uh, paintings and so forth himself, but he just said, I think it's a great idea, and he embraced that, and we just kept on growing. Because when we first built our building, you know, it was mainly industrial. Now it's starting to get more and more art uh, people coming in, and uh, everybody loves the space, so it's it's great. So if a and by branding yourself and dedicating yourself as an art community, uh, and especially the opportunity that Sand City has, uh, because right. it's it's got the big box store base for the tax revenues, right. so it can it can thrive and allow this uh, 
a, a, you know, artists to also live there. And it's, it's great for the whole area. It's great for all Monterey County, and it's great also for Sand City. Um, our present mayor, uh, uh, Marianne Carbone, is, uh, is also a wonderful person and, a, and, a, and an artist herself. She, um, and there's another artist, uh, uh, Craig Hubler, who's on the city council. Um, I'm fortunate enough to be part of the city council right now, which is uh, pretty exciting. I was uh, appointed, and uh, Sand City is growing, and there's a lot of things happening there. But <clears throat> we are really focusing on the arts. I mean, not only uh, visual arts, but performing arts, fashion, and things like that. Uh, we're trying to move it into that direction so that it's all about, I mean, I could see if Sand City, uh, you know, we had uh, hair salons, we had, uh, you know, designers, clothing designers that you'd go and get your clothes, uh, you know, special food items, uh, you know, have a performing arts center there or something. It, it would be amazing because it could just kind of go and then you'd have live work spaces where people could live and then walk to these different things. Uh, would be it'd be so different than Carmel. Carmel has its own special. The shops, it's beautiful. I mean, uh, my wife and I love to we'll go there and walk on the beach. You can take your dog there and and so forth and visit friends that live in Carmel. And it's um, it's kind of has its own little niche. But I think Sand City needs to have, stay that more urban effect, and not try to copy any of the other places, but have stay in that art genre and keep on going with the whole uh, vision. So. Yeah, I'd love to. See, I I know West End is uh, a big presentation of art to the community, but it would be wonderful to have something going on every month, and uh, you know the, the art thing going on. Uh, you know, both as living there, but as also presentation and stuff going on all year round. Right. Uh, uh, speaking of the West End, which is uh, going to be coming up in August. Is a is a wonderful venue for uh, Steve Vagnini. Is a, what, he's he has a great ear for music and he picks out these wonderful bands, you know, for us. So our our music thing in San City is unbelievable for the West End. And what we're trying to do also to uh, not to take away from his you know his site, but to add to it so that we not only we we're, we're going to have a fashion show this coming West End which is going to be over the top. Uh, I mean, if you wanted to see something really unusual, it, you should see that. It's not uh, your state or art fashion. And it'll be, uh, and we're going to have some different things. We're going to have the visual arts. We're going to open up our studios so people can come and see them. And I think that uh, people would be really amazed at some of the different things that are going on in Sand City, so close. And it's right in the center of everything. I mean, we were close to Pebble Beach. You were close to all these wonderful places that people can come. And, and it adds to these places. You know, Carmel, like we were saying, it still lives on the, on the story of the artist right. and, and that past history of the artist. Well, it's a past history, but it is a, it is a, uh, a definite history. I mean, the, it, the artist... It's a definite get, history, right. but, but it really helps if you've got a history with the, with the present. Right, exactly. And <coughs> one of the things we, we've talked about is uh, you always run into people who are very nostalgic about the past. Oh, I would love to have been there when the artists were here, <laughs> right, and right. this and that. I can't imagine a more interesting time to be here than now. No, it's, it's very true. You know, it's like interesting when people come to Big Sur and they want to meet, boy, I wish I could have met Henry Miller. Well, Henry Miller left Big Sur in 1959. Yeah. Uh, you know, and most of these people weren't even born yet. So one of the, one of the things is that it's, you don't need to delve. I mean, we need to look at our past yes. and, you know, and understand that that is so important to all of us. But at the same time, we have to look at today. There is so much going on. I mean, uh, so many incredible artists out there. And as I said, in all the fields, the performing arts and everything else, I mean, it, it's, it's great. I mean, it's just exciting. So you embrace that stuff, you know, not just be concentrating, oh, well, that's where artists used to be. No, it's not, it's artists are there So, now. So this is what I was uh, trying to say when I was talking about New York and Los Angeles. It's really helpful to be in a place <laughs> where things are happening. Right. So if, if you, you know, to live here, we have to make the brand here stand for something. Oh, yeah. And, and, and that's why, the, the, uh, you, you know, what I, what I really love about you is that you're 
kind of probably a little bit about you, like your dad, kind of no nonsense. The guy comes to you with 10 drawings, you said, let, let, let's see you do 100. You, you, you don't sugarcoat what it means to do this work. No. But you've done this work and you've succeeded at it. So, you know, as a, as a, what would you tell a young artist coming here? Well, a young artist, when they, they come, they, um, they're excited and they, they, you know, I have uh, young artists come into the gallery and they want to show me their drawings and so forth and they'll come with their grandfathers or their parents and their younger kids and, and you're alluding to the fact that I'll look at their ten drawings and, uh, or whatever it is and say, I really like this part, I think you've got something going here, this is moving in the right direction do a hundred more and then come back and see me. Well, they look at me like it took them a year to do the 10, you know, and it's like, no, that's not the way it's supposed to go. Do the hundred, get feel how it flows, because everything will start to flow when you start to do that, and then you'll learn so much, so much quicker. And not too many of them ever come back, because it's, it's like, and then I asked their parents or grandparents later on, I said, well, what happened? Well, they went in another direction. They thought that was gonna be a little bit you know, they assume that I'm going to look at one and just go, "Oh, that's it. You're you're a professional," and that doesn't usually happen. So, it, you have it doesn't ever happen. But you uh, you can get you you can see the sense, and then uh, you'll get a kid that comes in and he all he wants to do, I just want to do it. When that's what it is. I want to be a, 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 an artist, a painter. I want to be a writer. I want to be a uh, an actor. And then you just look at him and you just go, "That kid's going to make it." Now, if we can populate an entire little town full of these people, right? That'd we've got a brand. Oh yeah, no, it is. It's a, and uh, you know, I'm very excited because Sand City has embraced this so much, and they do everything possible to keep the arts and keep it keep it going, and um, it, it's it's a future of the of this little city, this little city. And it's that, that's that's fabulous, and. Uh, uh, you, and then, just as a, a personal artist, or, or or as an artist, your dedication to community is very much part of your art, and uh, I, I think I think you've exemplified, um, you know, the artist, which is very much of a, a solo kind of thing most of the time, uh, having, you know, dedicated to community, and you you've really dedicated to community. Well, dedicating to community, you dedicate to your. First of all, you have to dedicate to yourself that you really want to do something, right? And then you dedicate, as it grows, you dedicate to your wife and your family. You, you uh, picked up and you kind of work together to make something as a, as a cohesive group. Then it starts to get into your extended family, your, your brothers, sisters, cousins, and so forth. And then it gets into your local community. Now, if you can do all that, that's huge. You know, some people are so worried about what's happened nationally and what's happening internationally. It's not, you, you don't have any power of doing, controlling that. I mean, you can go and, and uh, riot or you can march with something, but your best voice is right within your own spectrum, you know, right in your own space. And if you can help that grow in a positive energy, then you're doing your job. If everybody made their little community in a positive way and then their families, we would have the greatest world ever. I mean, all, that's all you have to concentrate on. Just concentrate around you, make everybody happy. I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're watching Your Town <coughs> Television. It's been my uh, great pleasure to be with Greg Hawthorne. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm Mark Baer, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.